What's up guys, just left Flat. going to check out this spot, it's about 30 miles uh, west of town, it's called the Powder River, and I haven't fished it for like 10 years, uh, it used to be a walking area, I'm not sure if it is anymore, so we may not even be able to fish it, uh, but we're going to try something that I've tried in the past and it's worked. It's uh, worm harnessing in the river for catfish. Pretty fun. I've caught different species as well doing it. Uh, I haven't done it in a long time. So hopefully it's still a walking area and we can drop some lines in a little bit. Stay tuned. We're about halfway here to the Powder River. And... Uh, my girl sent me a picture of what my son did to himself. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't look good. Ah, oh, the joy of having children. What fun. All right, we're here. It's a walk-in area, which is cool. All right. I guess what we're gonna look for is a place where there might be a little deeper water. It's pretty muddy. We'll just have to, that looks like a pretty good spot right over here. Let's go see what we got going on. Kind of on the outside bend here. We got some fast moving water and a little eddy right here it looks like. Sweet. Hop down here, show you what we got going on. Okay. So I've got a three way swivel. Water clarity is really bad and super muddy. Got a weight. I had to fabricate this weight out of another weight to make it work. And then, let's go with something super bright here. Now doing this, you're not gonna want your leader very long because it'll get tangled up. But on the back side, is where I'm gonna try, tie the harness. Just like, like that. Then I'm gonna put this weight on the bottom. this guy on here probably should be attaching that with a, something metal so it doesn't break off but let's get a pole in the water here okay so this is the rig that weight is gonna sit on the bottom and then this is just going to be up and it's going to be spinning. Hook it right through the tip. 
and then streamline it back. See, it sits right like that. Might be a little difficult to cast this guy. You don't want it to get tangled up. So you may have to hold it. And what I'm gonna, and you may have to put a swing into it, but what I'm gonna do is right where that swirling water is right there, that's where I, that's where I want my bait. Right on the edge of the fast moving water and the slow moving eddy. Oh, <laughs> well, it helps if you flip your veil. Okay, all right, here we go. This one's for real, this one's for real. Bam, right there. So I want this straight up stream of that so it doesn't pull uh, my weight around. I'm gonna try to find a rock here that I can set this up with. That's handling the current pretty nicely. It's a three ounce sinker. I. Uh, it's just a cheap one. What I did was I heated it up a little bit and hammered it flat. And that's kind of a, more of a rivered style so that your weight lies flat. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. just got to be patient and work through these little bites keep rebaiting and you know every once in a while you'll get you'll get a fish you want to catch just got to be patient keep your bait in the you know in in the right spots there's a little bite little bite little bite got him What do we have? We've got uh, false hooked big silver. Holy cow. I'm sure these things work great for bait. Definitely better than what we were catching earlier. This right here is on a uh, worm harness with the night trawler. Feels pretty good. This current's pretty tough. Look at this. Look at this. What a treat. What a treat. Oh, look. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, that is just too cool right there. on them or there's the scales on them these bones are they're sharp they are sharp it is so cool holding one of these fish actually I have to say this is my first sturgeon ever so I'm glad you guys could be here for it 
Um, I don't want to keep them out of the water too long. Uh, but look at that. The mouth on them is so crazy. What fun. Well, I think we chose a pretty good spot. Come down here. They're good little fighters too. That was too cool, a sturgeon. Caught him out here with a worm harness on the Powder River, just 30 miles west of Gillette. What fun. Well, I'm gonna get rigged back up, do it again. That was on a chartreuse uh, blade. So we'll see if we can't get another one here. Been out here for all oh, hour and hour and a half or so. Got a, about a 32 inch sturgeon, a couple silvers, silver shiners. fish too. I didn't get a very good hook set in them. I wonder what we're dealing with here. Oh, we got another sturgeon. Another sturgeon number two here. Crazy. Worm, <laughs> worm harnessing sturgeon, what the heck? <laughs> oh, he's hooked up. Cool. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, please don't get stuck in the trees. Well, <laughs> in the mouth, worm harness. I had never, never caught a sturgeon before today, and I've caught two of them. I'm gonna measure it up real quick. I might, well, here it is. This guy. Did it, did it, did it, did it. 